what was the moment like for you when you got the call and said, hey, this is what we want you to do? Well, I mean, obviously it was, it was an exciting moment, right? And um, it's one of those things where you, you know, you're excited about it. You know, you're kind of, you're, you're a little bit sad for those that are departing, um, but you also know it's the game and it's the sport. Um, without a doubt, when uh, Mark Frisch asked me would I be interested, you know, I felt obligated to, to say yeah, you know what I mean? And not so much um, that I had an, owed an obliga obligation to him, but more so um, the guy's done so much for the sport here and, and, and all of us that are fans and, and, and as a youth organization, um, for me to have an opportunity to go in and help in any regards or any way, um, it, it was a no-brainer for me. So this has been a pretty quick stretch here, and obviously, like a lot of folks who you watching the Armada games, you've had a little different perspective, obviously, as a guy who played professionally and coaching and handling the developmental side of things with the, the JFC and the academy, but uh, did you have enough in your mind to come in right away and say, all right, here's what I want to do, or are you still in the exploratory phase of, of how to put it all together? Uh, it's a little bit of both. I think overall, I think I've always had a, a good idea of what it meant to be a professional, right? When you, when you, I played for 16 years, so I spent a lot of time in locker rooms. I spent a lot of time uh, on the soccer field and, and around different people. So the one thing I knew is that as a professional, I always thrive when um, someone just got the best out of me, right? I, I learned a long time ago, you're not teaching a professional how to play the game. They should know it already. It's their job. And I think as our, our, our job as coaches is to kind of put people in the right places to be successful, right? Or mentally find ways to, to get them in that, you know, whether you call it the zone or that place where they're at the top of their game and, 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 and to kind of just set a platform where guys are looking forward to showing up every day. Tactically, how many things do you have going on in your head right now in terms of how to use guys and, and how to approach well, it, it, it's It's a ton, right? Because when you look at certain things, one thing I noticed just in today's training, um, there's some good players out here. You know what I mean? There's a, this is a very attractive, attack-minded team. And I think just collectively, defensively, in the game we played today, we gave up probably five or six goals. Um, that's a lot of goals to give up, right? Um, so we have to fix some things on that end. Um, you know, when you say those things, you don't... You, you, a lot of people references you don't have good defenders or you don't have that's not the case i think just tactically as a team our shape our numbers our numbers behind the ball those things just have to be addressed and um and and, and you know if anything we're going to address them and if we can go out and we can implement them hopefully the results change a little bit i want to go back and kind of finish up with referring back to something you said earlier about uh feeling an obligation to to take this responsibility here uh, for the city as much as anything. Oh, sure. you, you, have, you have invested a lot of your post-playing career in this city, whether you're talking about coaching at JUFC, mm -hmm. coaching at JU, JFC, and the Armada Academy now. Uh, where do you see soccer in Jacksonville going and how important is this final stretch of seven games to that trajectory? Well, I think, you know, Jacksonville, is a, it's, a, it's a young city as far as the game. It's, the game has been around Jacksonville, but from my observation, it's a it's it's fair weather. We have a lot of other things, right? We have the beach. We have a, we have, we have pro football. We have so many other things. And I think for soccer to succeed, um, there has to be some success, right? There has to be something that people can look back on and say that was an enjoyable moment. I look forward to it starting again. Um, you have ownership and, and a business side of the, the organization that has committed themselves to it. It's first class. And 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 I can tell you, looking around and being in different places, you're not going to find many like this. And I think for us, we're, we're young. Um, you know, you can always fall on uh, the, the, the old saying that, you know, you're the new franchise or whatever it may be. But I don't think this group came in, the ownership didn't come in with this being a new franchise. They came in by investing in some players and, 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 and wanting to bring something to Jacksonville that people could be proud of. So um, I think you have to remind people of that, remind the players that it's been invested into and uh, and, and go out and, and, and give them the best chance to be successful and, 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 and hopefully that, that, that translates into our city enjoying what we're doing. Eric, thanks a lot. Best of luck. Thanks, buddy. Appreciate it.